Hey guys, here's Kamal about to paddle and we're going to watch her. We're going to talk about a few different things. So I'm going to play it really quick at real speed and then we'll break it down. Alright, so I'm going to get back to where we were. The two things that I would have Kamal work on at this point are her where her position is with her top arm and what she's doing with her hips so an upper body and a lower body thing um we'll start with the arms so setup is where the paddle is parallel with the water which is at this point right here you can see her hand is relaxed which is good i like seeing fingers open during the reach like that so that you can get maximum reach um i would not say that this is the best height. I've seen her have a better setup um, than this. We want it, that might be a little high actually, but we want her setup to be around eye level when she's reaching. And the reason for this is because if we can get this back arm to come up higher to maybe the point at the tip of that arrow, then we'll have that set up not only at the, the height of our eyes, but it will also be in this beautiful power position. I might have mentioned the power position before in some other videos, um, and here's another example of it. So looking at her back arm alone, I would say that this right here is a great start to the power position. Um, you can see... The angle here, I don't know what to do with that. Sorry. Uh, we can see this angle here. I like that. That's a better power position than if our hand was straight up and down like that or if it was just straight forward. It's pretty much at a 45 degree angle compared to her shoulder, which is great. But instead of keeping her hand in this position and simply bringing it around to the middle of the boat, um, the mid line of the boat, which is right here. Instead, her hand goes upward instead of around and in front. And we'll watch this happen right here. So simply from this good position, her hand goes above her head before she even gets to the water, losing her angle of the paddle and losing her power position. Um, the angle of the paddle is significant because if she maintains this reach that she has right here, then she will have a larger stroke, and if it's within the power position, then it'll also be powerful. It'll be a long, powerful stroke, which makes the boat run. But instead, and when our paddles get to zero degrees, which is right here, that's when we need to get it out. Um, let's see what happens to her paddle once it's buried. I'd say it's probably buried right there. Let's go to the other side so we can actually see. So she's actually first buried right about here. And this is the angle that we have to work with. She doesn't have too long before she gets to zero. And the worst case scenario is letting your paddle get into a negative angle like that. So let's see what happens as she goes through her stroke. So she's at zero degrees here right here so to speak and she does leave the paddle in the water a bit too long the hip right here this point is when i would like to see athletes exit the water granted they're rotating correctly so then she exits and here she reaches so I just explained a lot about this power position not being there and her lack of angle, keeping the angle on the stroke. Um, and so what I would have her do instead is I would identify this power position that we talked about right here. And I would ask her to simply bring her top hand, so this one right here, in front of her face as she goes down to the water during the catch. So her hand, I would want it to just move to this position right in front of her face instead of letting it go up here. And then I, hopefully that will do the trick and then we can move on from there. 
Now, the last thing very quickly I'm going to mention is talking about her legs. Right now, we can see Kamal's rotating. That's great. She has powerful legs, and I love it. But she does kick and then release instead of holding the position. Position. So look at this great reach. I love it. I can see so much of her back. Not just upper, but also lower. I love this. Very good, Kamal. As we go down to the water, she even keeps that top leg, that, that front leg, um, or I mean the onside leg, up, which is good. She doesn't let it come down, which I love as well. So here we're driving, we're driving, but as we can see, she br lets her onside leg pop back up before the next stroke. So the knee goes down, then back up, and then the second knee goes down, and then back up. When in reality, we want to see Kamal hold that leg straight until she's buried on this side, and then that's when I would want her leg to come up again. So I just wanted to point that out. So uh, power position, big uh, focus for Kamal right now, and then holding her onside leg.